been a blustery day. The wind has been menacingly howling round the chimney pots, so it's good that tonight our psalm is Psalm 34. The title says that it was written when David feigned madness before the king of Gath and escaped with his life by the skin of his teeth. God knows how to keep us in days of trouble and trial, days of loneliness and despair. David writes, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant and their faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we have tasted and seen that you are good. Your presence satisfies like nothing else. You give more joy and deeper joy than anything else in this world. One day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. Your love is better than life itself. We want to seek you above all else, knowing that if we seek you, we won't lack any good thing. You are an abundantly generous God, like a constantly flowing spring. If you clothe the lilies in splendour and feed the sparrows, if you rescue David, you will certainly provide for us and protect us. If something is good, you will give it. If it is not good, you will withhold it. In truth, we really don't know what we most need but you do. We know that we can trust you. In Jesus' name. Amen.